Hi, Chris here. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can build your own teleprompter. But that teleprompter came with some limitations. For example, you needed two tripods, one for the camera and one for the teleprompter. Another limitation was the size. That's why I decided to try out the Petcaster teleprompter kit, which is more compact and can be mounted on just one tripod. In order to use this together with the Sony RX100 Mark 7, I also bought the KMTV lens adapter, which will allow me to mount the camera behind the teleprompter. Let's check it out. Before opening the Petcaster, let's have a closer look at the box. The sides of the box are just branded. But on the back we find a list of features and what comes included in the box. Ok, now let's open it. Inside we are greeted by this paper which shows different use cases for the teleprompter. On the back of the paper there is this little quick start guide. Then there is this warranty card with registration information. A cleaning kit for the petcaster with the big lens clothes and the cleaning pen with the cleaning pad on one side and the brush on the other side. Next a remote control that works for iOS and Android devices. The remote control comes with its own user manual. And this is the remote control. And on its back there is a power switch and the connection button. And here at the top of the box we have a small pouch with the mounting rings in different sizes. The smallest ring has a diameter of 37 mm and the biggest of 82 mm. For the KMTV lens adapter that I bought I will need the 52mm ring. Ok, and now let's take out the teleprompter itself. It's made out of plastic and very lightweight. The front is protected by a sliding plastic cap. The material feels quite sturdy. And the back is also closed to keep out the dust. Let's open it. On the inside there is this glass that will reflect the text in front of the lens. One of the rings is already mounted to the back of the teleprompter. And you can slide out the plastic below it to open the hole. The ring that is already mounted has a diameter of 58 mm. In order to use the KMTV lens adapter, I have to swap it out for the 52mm ring. Now let's open the box of the KMTV lens adapter. Like the rings, it is also made out of metal. This ring is where you will mount the adapter ring of the teleprompter. You slide it in to the front of the tripod mount. And with the red screws you adjust the position of the ring in relation to the camera. And on this screw you mount the camera. 
On the bottom you have 5 quarter inch holes to mount the adapter to the tripod. And here you see all together what came in the boxes. Now let's mount it to the tripod and connect the camera. First let's connect the KMTV lens adapter to the tripod. I will use the second hole for this. Then let's slide in the ring that will hold the teleprompter and make sure that the receiving side faces the front. One thing I noted is that the tripod hole of the Sony RX100 Mark 7 is not centered to the lens. That's why I cannot use the Sony camera on the KMTV lens adapter just on its own. But if I mount the camera into the UU Rig camera cage, then the tripod hole is centered to the lens. Now with the help of the red screws I can position the ring so that the camera can look through the hole. Next let's screw on the 52mm mounting ring that came with the teleprompter kit. Now we can attach the teleprompter and slide it over the mounting ring. Ok, now let's open it. The advantage of using the UU Rig camera cage is that we can now mount a shotgun microphone to the top to record better sound. Now let's prepare the iPhone so that we can use it in the teleprompter. Therefore we have to download the Parrot teleprompter app from Padcaster. Ok, let's open it. First let's have a look at the settings in the lower right corner. Here you can adjust the text size, set the scroll speed and configure various other settings. Ok, let's go back to the main screen. Now let's click on the plus icon in the lower left corner. That's where you would add new scripts. Ok, let's go back to the main screen. For our demonstration, let's just use the quick start guide. Now let's insert the iPhone into the teleprompter. You can start the scrolling just by tapping on the screen. As you can see, we have to mirror the text in order to be able to read it. So let's go into the settings. In the settings scroll down and activate mirror mode. Ok, that looks better now. As you can see the scroll speed is very slow. We could adjust this also in the settings but we also could use the remote control. So let's check out the remote control now. For using the remote control to control the iPhone, we have to first pair it via Bluetooth with the iPhone. So let's check out the instructions. But first we have to activate the battery. Then you switch it on and press the connection button with something like a pen. Then the red light in the front should start flashing. Now the remote control should appear in the Bluetooth settings of your iPhone. Just touch on it and it should connect. Let's put the iPhone back into the teleprompter. In the manual of the remote control there is a table explaining the different buttons of the remote control. But this seems to be outdated. The buttons work differently now. 
With the plus and minus you can control the volume of your iPhone. I don't know why you would use it, but that's what they do. With the up or down arrow on the white wheel you can scroll up or down in your text. And with the OK button you start or stop the scrolling. The left or right arrow key decreases or increases the scroll speed. And here is an example of how it would look like if you use a bigger iPhone like the iPhone 6s Plus. When you are finished with filming you can protect the teleprompter glass from collecting dust by inserting this plastic at the back and sliding over the dust cover in the front. And that's all for this video. If you found this video interesting, please leave me a like. For more videos like this, subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.